Hi, my name is Tanisha Allen. I am the County Supervisor for Griffith's Widewater District in Stafford County. I was elected to my position in November 2019 and I began serving January 1st, 2020. I've lived in Stafford County for the past six years with my husband, my daughter, and my mom. And I'm currently a nurse and as well as a county supervisor, as I mentioned. So my history with Stafford is I've actually been here going on, I think six or seven years now. I moved to the Virginia area uh, in 2014 with my husband and my daughter. Uh, my husband had gotten a job working for DC public schools. And so we relocated from Brooklyn, New York in 2014. And we needed somewhere to stay temporarily until we found a, an area that we can call home. And so for our first year, we lived in Woodbridge. And while living in Woodbridge, we kind of took that opportunity that year to explore the surrounding areas to figure out what best suits us. And eventually we landed on Stafford because it gave us a sense of suburban lifestyle, but also the open spaces and um, the small knit feel, the small knit community feeling that you got compared to some of the larger counties. So I learned about G-Cube during my campaign run in 2019 for my current position as a county supervisor. Mr. Green's office actually falls within my district, which um, I wasn't aware of at that time. During the campaign, a mutual friend reached out and said Mr. Green was interested in meeting me and talking to me to try to get a sense of what my plans were for the county, my sense of purpose, and how we can possibly collaborate on future endeavors should my campaign be successful, as well as just a meet and greet because he was also a fellow New Yorker. I met him, I would say, early 2019, sometime around, maybe around March, February, March, maybe early spring, and that was pretty much it. The rest is history. I think someone rang my doorbell and, and asked me and they said, well, you know, they were campaigning for uh, some, I, I don't remember who they were campaigning for, but I was just voicing my frustrations. And the person said to me, well, why don't you run and, you know, and, and make a change if you feel that it's not getting done? And I conferred with my husband and I was like, well, what do you think? Because that's, you know, running for office is a pretty big undertaking, especially since I was beginning to start nursing school. And he was like, you know, why not? Um, you know, we always talk about how you know we we need change and why not be the change that you want to see mr green offered sort of a mentorship he's obviously been here he's established he has connections and he's you know aware of what it takes to to be a leader i mean up until this point i hadn't been a leader and, and he's obviously been not only a business leader but a community leader as well and so when he offered to serve in, in the capacity of a mentor and just as a sounding board for ideas and advice, I, you know, I took that opportunity. So whenever I was trying to figure out, you know, what I should do or how I should respond. And so just having, you know, Mr. Green and his team there to offer support and advice were pretty helpful.